How to improve iPhone 7 battery. Just follow my steps. First, don't bother quitting apps. Let's start by dispelling a battery saving myth. iPhone users tend to quit apps we aren't using as it seems like a logical way to stop them sucking away at the battery. To quit an app, double tap the home button and swipe up on the app you want to close. But apparently, this isn't such a good idea after all. Apple Store genius Scotty Loveless explains that when you close an app you take it out of RAM. This means that when you open it again the iPhone has to load it back into memory. All of that loading and unloading puts more stress on your device than just leaving it alone. Turn on low power mode. In iOS 10 and iOS 9, there's a feature called low power mode that reduces overall power requirements and makes your battery last longer. Apple claims the mode will allow you to gain three extra hours of battery life from your iPhone. Low power mode isn't a default option that happens automatically in the background. It will be offered automatically when you hit 20% remaining power, you'll see a warning flash up and the option to turn on low power mode. Do so and you will notice that the battery indicator turns orange rather than red, or the green it would be if you had plenty of power. The mode will be switched off again automatically when you charge past 80%. Updating iOS is a useful all-purpose fix when you're experiencing minor problems with an iPad or iPhone. Apple uses its regular, free, operating system updates to roll out fixes for vulnerabilities, bugs and glitches, and it's entirely possible that an issue you're experiencing can be fixed with a simple OS update. This includes battery problems. Does your battery need repairing or replacing? iPhone batteries don't last forever and the time will come when your device needs to be looked at by a specialist. We try the tips in this article before making an appointment with an Apple genius, however. A recent iOS update helps you to get more accurate advice on when your iPhone's battery is coming to the end of its life. As well as the fix for the battery slash charging issue for iPhone 6 and iPhone 6s, iOS 10.2.1 brings in a useful warning system for when your device's battery needs to be repaired or replaced. The message reads your battery needs service. Check battery usage. A quick way to check whether there really is a problem with the battery in your iPhone or iPad is to head over to settings general battery and wait for your battery usage report to load up. This will let you check your usage and standby times. The usage time is how long you've used the device for since the last charge, and standby indicates the total time that's passed since the last charge. Expect usage to be a lot lower than standby, unless you've been using your iPhone non-stop since unplugging it. Which apps are killing the battery? In iOS 10, 9, and 8 you can see exactly which apps are the biggest battery drainers. Go to Settings General Battery and scroll down to see which of your apps were the biggest battery guzzlers in the past 24 hours, or last 7 days. Expect to see Facebook up the top, Safari also seems to be quite draining. But obviously these are also frequently used apps. Facebook and other apps Facebook has been accused of being a battery hog on the iPhone and iPad in iOS and even Facebook itself has admitted that the iOS app uses a lot of resources in the background. A report that emerged in February from The Guardian claims that uninstalling the Facebook app can save you up to 15% of iPhone battery life. Instead, you can access the Facebook website via the Safari app. A quick look in your battery usage log, Settings Battery, will reveal how much battery life Facebook is guzzling. Ours has used 26% of our iPhone's charge in the last 24 hours. Turn down brightness. That Retina iPad you're lugging about packs more pixels than an iMac. Even an iPhone's pixel count rivals that of a MacBook Air. It should therefore come as no surprise the screen is one of your iOS device's primary power drains. Lighting the pixels on your device's Retina display requires a lot of energy. In fact, in testing, Excessive screen brightness was the single biggest iPhone battery killer we found. At full brightness, an iPhone 5 lasted 6 hours, 21 minutes while playing 720p video. When we set the screen to half brightness, 
the phone lasted 9 hours, 48 minutes. That's a huge difference. Auto lock. While the screen is on, you're consuming power, so make sure that your iPhone or iPad isn't awake when you don't need it to be. If you want to get the maximum battery life, it's wise to set the auto lock to an ultra low 30 seconds, an option that was added with the iOS 9 update, and is present in iOS 10. Venture into settings general auto lock, in iOS 10 it's found in settings display and brightness auto lock, and set your device to sleep after 30 seconds of inactivity. Airplane mode. One of the biggest drains of battery life is the antenna, because it's constantly checking for nearby cellular and Wi-Fi networks. Simply moving around with the phone in your pocket will drain its battery, as it moves from within range of one base station to another. If you don't need to access data, make, or receive, calls, and you don't require GPS, for maps, you could put the phone into flight mode and stop all use of the iPhone's antenna. It's easy to switch on airplane mode, just swipe up on control center and tap the airplane icon on the top left. Alternatively, tap settings and set airplane mode to on. Disable Wi-Fi. If you still need a cellular connection but can live without Wi-Fi, you can disable Wi-Fi by swiping up to reveal control center and tapping the Wi-Fi icon to turn it off, if it's off the Wi-Fi icon will be black. This will stop your phone from hunting around for Wi-Fi networks it could join. There are a few situations where avoiding using Wi-Fi might stop battery drain. If the Wi-Fi signal is poor then your iPhone will require more power to transmit and receive data. Similarly, if you are rarely in a place where you could join a Wi-Fi hotspot then there is little point in the iPhone hunting for one. Disable Bluetooth. If you have Bluetooth on, the chances are you don't need it. Swipe up on Control Center to check if Bluetooth is on. If it is you'll see the icon that looks like a runic bee highlighted in white. Bluetooth is usually left on after an iOS update is installed, so you may not even be aware that it is on. If it is, tap the Bluetooth icon to turn it off. You can also tap General Bluetooth and set Bluetooth to off. Bluetooth is considered to be a battery drainer. If you're not using it to connect to a speaker, headphones, or other accessory, or to use the continuity features in iOS, then switch it off. Turn off AirDrop. One iPhone service that requires Bluetooth is AirDrop. Added back in the iOS 7 launch, AirDrop allows you to transfer photos and other files to and from nearby iPhones with the same feature switched on. Unfortunately, it's a battery killer, because of the way AirDrop seeks out nearby iPhones to hook up with. You can switch off AirDrop in the control center, swipe upwards from the bottom of the screen. Only turn on AirDrop when it's needed. Disable 3G, 4G. If you can survive without data but still need to be contactable you could turn off 3G or 4G. Your data connection can be disabled in the cellular section of settings. Go to settings cellular, or mobile data, and switch cellular data to off. If you have an iPhone that is capable of 4G you can separately turn off 4G here as well. We recommend that you do this if you don't actually have a 4G contract. If you aren't using it then switching off cellular data will increase battery life. This has a benefit over just using airplane mode, as you will only disable the cellular data portion of your signal, e.g. Edge, 3G, 4G, or LTE. Turn down volume. It might surprise you but the volume setting affects battery life too, so if you are playing music or other audio from your phone, turn it down using the volume buttons. Of course you could save battery power by not playing music, or you could switch to headphones, which won't require as much power as the iPhone's internal speakers. Note that the music equalizer also takes up a surprising amount of power. Tap settings music and make sure EQ is turned to off stop vibrating. Head to settings sounds and turn off both of the vibrate options, because your device rattling around like crazy when a slew of messages arrives drains the battery like nobody's business. There are dozens of annoying jingles you can choose from to announce to the world that someone has just sent you a message without the accompanying vibration.